Question 1. Inside jokes. We will include them, we won't explain them. We've already set a precedent with our YouTube name. Anyone disagree? Question 2. Five-year plan. Five years from now, I want to be a family medicine resident. Question 3. Books that I've been reading recently. So, would you rather talk about the difference between the eukaryotic and prokaryotic approach to the central dogma of biology? Or would you rather discuss the clinical presentations of brachial plexus injuries? Probably neither. So instead, let's talk about virtue versus passion. So passion is one of those words that has multiple definitions. So if I were to say to you, Robert with more hair, that you have a real passion for history and education, you probably wouldn't be insulted. So to be perfectly clear, you're talking about passion as in impulse, urge, appetite. We have nothing against caring a lot about a certain subject. So I'm going to discuss passion from a biological lens, and instead of calling it passion, I'm going to call it impulse. Humans are animals, therefore we have biological impulses. We want sex, we want food, we want violence against our enemies, we want to avoid noxious stimuli. But humans are more than animals, so we're also driven by altruism and forethought. And both of these are important because you need to eat and you also need to express compassion. Our impulses are driven by our basal ganglia, whereas our higher thought processes are driven by our prefrontal cortex. We have both animal and human components to our brain, and they are always in conflict. And the founders of democracy are right. If we let our passions, our animal impulses, drive the way we do government, then we won't have a very good country, even if it's democratic. But if we let our higher reasoning take governance, then we can accomplish great things. Now obviously everyone is going to say, well, I'm rational. But you're not. We are all both rational and irrational. But we all can and must work to be better than we are currently. And that's hard because it involves admitting that you're wrong. A lot. And we live in a country that is sometimes governed by fear and desire for violence against our enemies and other passions. And sometimes I'll let my impulses determine my actions and suffer the consequences. I'll play video games for six hours because I like the way they make me feel, and then I'll be behind on my assignments. So, y'all can either continue the discussion about passion and virtue, or you can talk about the books that you've read. Peace!